name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 And we're celebrating the feast day of the presentation of our Lord, and we have the blessing of the canons always at this Mass. Dear brothers and sisters, 40 days have passed since we celebrated the joyful feast of the Nativity of our Lord. Today is the blessed day when Jesus was presented in the temple by Mary and Joseph. Outwardly, he was fulfilling the law, but in reality, he was coming to meet his believing people. Prompted by the Holy Spirit, Simeon and Annie came to the temple. Enlightened by the same Spirit, they recognized the Lord and confessed him with exaltation. So let us also gather together by the Holy Spirit here in the house of God to encounter Christ. Here we shall find him and recognize him in the breaking of bread until he comes again revealed in glory. So now we have the prayer of blessing for the candles. O God, source and origin of all light, who on this day showed to the just man Simeon the light for revelation to the Gentiles, we humbly ask that, in answer to your people's prayers, you may be pleased to sanctify with your blessing these candles, so that, treading the path of virtue, we may reach that light which never fails through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Now let's give glory to God. Glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to the people of your will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks to your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Messiah, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Almighty, ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> The first reading today is from Malachi chapter 3, verses 1 through 4. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire and like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 24. Who is his king of glory? It is the Lord. Who is his king of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lentils. Reach up, you ancient portals, 
that the King of Glory may come in. Who is this King of Glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Who is this King of Glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lentils. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of Glory may come in. Who is this King of Glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of Glory. Who is the King of Glory? It is the Lord. Our second reading today is from Hebrews chapter 2, verses 14 through 18. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through fear of death have been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people, because he himself was tested through what he suffered. He is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. According to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictates in the law of the Lord. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came, into the, he came in the spirit into the temple and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms, blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Almighty God, we thank you for this day and all its opportunities. Help us to live in your love this day, to do your will, to be a light to others, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, God, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed God, Christ. 
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good all of the Lord's church. May the offering made with exhortation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray. For you will that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world as the Lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, co-eternal Son, was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and the light of the nations. And so we too go forth, rejoicing to encounter your salvation, and with all the angels and saints, praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God bless. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And a quote from St. Cyprian, born in the year 200 on the Eucharist. In the priest Melchizedek, we see the sacrament of the sacrifice of the Lord prefigured. The order certainly is that which comes from Melchizedek's sacrifice and which comes down from it, because Melchizedek was a priest of the Most High God, because he offered bread, and because he blessed Abraham. And who is more a priest of the Most High God than our Lord Jesus Christ, who, when he offered the sacrifice to God the Father, offered the very same which Melchizedek had offered, namely bread and wine, which is in fact his body and blood. If Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, is himself the high priest of God the Father, and if he offered himself as a sacrifice to the Father, and if he commanded that this be done in commemoration of himself, then certainly the priest who imitates what Christ did truly functions in place of Christ. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May holy for these gifts we pray by singing down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When you eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Louis, our bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by
by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my word, but I will save her. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. By these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us, and as you fulfill Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we, going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you, God.